Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another round of sound. This is the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. I'm Bob Pompiani. We got a lot to get into today, including pitchers and catchers. Yeah, baseball. Spring training is about to begin. Also, the Penguins. They have a new management team. They also have questions in goal. But the number one topic tonight on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown will be the Steelers, who continue to try to figure out where they head into 2021 and who will be their quarterback here to discuss is your panel we have josh yoey who does a great job covering the penguins for the athletic down below him it's andrew filipponi 93 7 the fan pm team and the pony express on cbs sports radio jeff hathorne outstanding sports director over kdka fm am and all things kdka so we'll start with marquise pouncey he made it official he and his brother are both going to retire Jeff, I want to start with you on this. How much will this impact Ben Roethlisberger, do you think? Roethlisberger still wants to come back, but there's a lot that has to happen before that can happen. How much will this impact it? Yeah, I don't think this is a mutually exclusive decision where, hey, if Pouncey retires, then I'm out. I don't believe that at all. I mean, does it impact him? You know, you lose a buddy in the locker room to a smaller extent, but Roethlisberger is going to make his decision based on what the money turns out to be, what the control is, and ultimately what his health is, which it seems like is good. So, yeah, he would want to have Pouncey in there, but I don't think it really influences whether he wants to come back or not. Uh, yeah, guys, I still think Ben is going to come back. Um, I can't read his mind, but I think he would have retired by now if that's what he were planning on doing. And I will say this for Ben. I, I am convinced that he doesn't want his career to end on a, a freezing night at Heinz Field with exactly zero people in the stadium. I, I just don't think he wants his career to end that way. He, he's kind of a natural showman. He always has been. And I get it. I wouldn't want to retire in those circumstances either. I, I truly think he wants to play in front of the roar of a crowd one last time to go out on his terms. I think next season probably will be his last. I don't know if I completely believe him when I hear him say he doesn't really care about the money. I, Everybody cares about the money, even if you have as much money as Ben. But I think he always knew there was a chance Pouncey would leave. I don't think it impacts him that much. Well, it, it leaves Ben Roethlisberger, though, without his biggest allies, Josh and Jeff. There's no more Randy Feigner. There's no more Marquise Pouncey. He's running out of friends in that locker room. So what is he coming back to? That's the question. Josh, you think that image after a lost playoff game is as bad as it gets. How about with the team that comes back to the Steelers in 2021? They're looking like a seven or eight win team. Okay, they've, they've got by win percentage, they've got the hardest schedule in the NFL for 2021, and they're not making additions. They're losing guys. So the idea that it can't get worse for Roethlisberger, right now there's a better chance they finish in last place than first place, Bob. I don't know about last place, because I think Cincinnati still has a way to go, but I do put them third in there. Um, all right, let's talk about Roethlisberger specifically then. Uh, Josh, uh, you know, you say, you know, money, it does matter. But the question is, is he willing to just kick money down the road? Are they willing to do that? Or is he willing to just say, I will give you money back? What do you think is most likely? Uh, boy, that, that's really a difficult question to answer. I don't know how little he's willing to play for. Um, I, he's going to have to take a pay cut. We all know that. Maybe he will give them some back at the end. I, I'm curious to see that. But um, it's just the most bizarre Steelers offseason we have seen in a really, really long time. Like I said earlier, I think if he were going to retire, he would have by now. The real question, guys, is this. We all remember how awful he was in the last four or five weeks of the season. Uh, my question is, is that the real Ben? Did he just get old before our eyes? Or you know, was the guy in October and early November the real Ben? Because he was pretty darn good in the first half of the season. I don't know if that guy is gone now or not, but it's going to be fascinating to see. Well, I think well, if you're it would be easy to sit back and look at the first half and say, you know what, that's the real me. I still have that game. And you know what caught up to us? The lack of a running game, the drop passes, and the offensive line. And if we can improve in those areas, I can come back and I, I can be the guy that, that you saw in the first half and I can make a difference. The Steelers were 11-0. You can, you can run yourself if you're on that team to believe that you're that close even though you're going to lose players you could say well if this improves and we have this player and i you know i'm back and i have a year back after being off for a year and, and the rust is knocked off i think you can buy yourself into doing that do i think that's the right call no do i think roethlisberger when he says he's going to take a pay cut i think it's more kicking the can down the road 
which again, how many times do you and, kick that can down when you finally have to stop it? This Jeff, to me looks like I, a good I, year to stop. I, I, I don't think the Steelers, Art Rooney's comments to me, don't make it sound like it's just pushing money down the road. It sounds, look, if you compare what the Steelers have said about Ben, I'm with Bouchette on this. He says 50-50. He said, when they said the door's open, compare that to the way the Packers have talked about Aaron Rodgers after the season and the way the Texans have talked about Deshaun Watson. Those teams are begging their star quarterback to come back. And I've got Art Rooney saying things like, we're more than comfortable with Mason Rudolph as our starting quarterback. That's what Dulac reported. I don't know. I'm starting to add up the clues here, guys. And I think the only way Ben is back is if it's on the Steelers' terms. And he takes a big pay cut. And I'm just not convinced Ben wants to do that. He wants to play for championships, Bob. They don't have a championship team. I'm as close as I've ever been to the idea that maybe Ben suits up for a new team in 2021. I was going to bring that up uh, only because we've seen it a lot, Andrew. We have seen Phillip Rivers change uniforms and Tom Brady. That's a different situation, but guys are willing to do that if they feel they can go to a place. So, so Jeff, do you think that's in Ben Roethlisberger's DNA that he can actually say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to play. If you don't want me, I'm going to play elsewhere. Or will he just retire at that point? Absolutely, it's within his DNA to go try to chase a championship with somebody else. He won't be the only quarterback that's ever done it. Who would have thought Joe Montana wouldn't have been a 49er for life? Or even Mike Webster, remember, he went to Kansas yep. City at the end of his career. He was chasing something. Uh, you know, there have been players that you never thought would, have leave, would leave teams that end up leaving teams. I think if Roethlisberger feels like he doesn't have the control he wants, they ask for too much of a pay cut, and there is a team where he feels – that they're a quarterback away and they talk him into it, absolutely I could see Roethlisberger leave. Well, that, that's what I mean, Jeff. Right now, the $41 million is a cap hit. That's not his salary. People need to make sure they know the difference between those two things. It's $19 million in take-home pay. Phillip Rivers got $25 million bucks to play one year with the Colts. I've heard people say if Ben's on the open market, he can get the same contract. So think about that, Bob. $25 million, is there a team? that'll give him a raise and put him in a better situation to win the Super Bowl. He's either going to come back to the Steelers and he's going to have that awkward situation where he goes to Matt Canada and it's either Canada's offense or Ben's offense with a new offensive line. I mean, that to me is not an ideal situation. That's why maybe there's a team out there like Denver or the Colts that wants Ben Roethlisberger for one year. And remember this, guys, there is no quick fix for the Steelers offense. It has an enormous amount of problems, not just Ben's age. You don't get better in one offseason when you have no money to spend in free agency. I don't care how good they draft this season. Those draft picks aren't going to make that big of a difference in 2021. There's only so many Chase Claypools out there. That's the big problem for Ben if he's thinking about a championship. Uh, and that offense was terrible. I don't see it getting that much better in one year. And their offensive line. It all starts there. They need yep. that to be fortified and changed. And you're right, it'll take more than one. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Juju Smith-Schuster, his future. Is it here or elsewhere? And would the Steelers actually use a franchise tag on him? And J.J. Watt, do we have a Watt hat trick in Pittsburgh? That's next, right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown on KDK-TV.